Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to create this attendance report dashboard with conditionally formatted icons. And this is episode two of Excel Hash. Now if you don't remember from last year, Excel Hash is a competition with a few other Excel YouTubers. It's similar to the TV show Chopped where the contestants are given a few ingredients and must prepare a dish. However, we are going to create a solution in Excel instead of the kitchen. And the ingredients we were given are an icon, a dynamic array function, the XOR function, and a linked picture. There's a link in the description below this video where you can watch all of the other contestants' videos. Then you can vote for your favorites on this page here. And of course, I'll put a link to this in the description below as well. And I encourage you to watch and support all of the other contestants' videos. So for this challenge, we're going to pretend we have an assignment from the world's best boss. And of course, that's none other than Michael Scott. People say I am the best boss. I think that pretty much sums it up. So this is going to be a bit of a parody on the very popular TV show, The Office, but don't worry if you haven't seen the show yet, you'll still be able to follow along. Now, Michael wants some improvements on their quarterly reports. And the same thing goes for quarterly reports. They are unreadable. They're just numbers and boring and black. So what I was thinking is that maybe we should have some sort of graphic, like if we have a bad quarter, put in a storm cloud and when we have a good quarter, fireworks. So Michael has tasked Dwight with the project. And of course, the most important metric to Dwight is attendance. I have never been late. Also, I have never missed a day due to illness, <sighs> even when I had walking pneumonia. I even come in on holidays. So in order to track attendance, Dwight has installed a security system on the building. And every time an employee enters or leaves the building, it creates a row here with their name and timestamp. And then we're using this data to create this report on the dashboard sheet. Again, we have our storm cloud and firework icons here. We also have a list of all the employees and their total hours for the week. And you can filter this down by department. And when you do that, uh, the goal is then recalculated or the average is recalculated and we can see some conditional formatting applied to these icons. So first we'll jump over to the data sheet and I've added some columns with formulas here. Now Dwight's original data doesn't tell us when the employee came into the building or went out. So in column F, we're using the X or function to help us determine this. So there's a few ways to use XOR, but in this case, we're passing through an array of logical statements or true false values and just comparing the employee name in the current row to the range above it in the employee column. That's the running total uh, reference for a table. So if we look down here, we're just uh, referencing this Jim Halpert in this row here, looking for all the Jim Halperts above and returning an array of true and false values. And with X or if we have an even number of true values, then that's going to return a false. If we have an odd number of true values, that will return a true. And that's what's being returned to that if statement right there. And then in this column, this tells us if the employee went into or out of the building. So next we'll look at the calc sheet and here we're using some dynamic array functions, which are another Excel hash ingredient. In this cell, we're using both the filter function and the unique function to filter down our data table and uh, return a list of unique values. And again, those dynamic array formulas return multiple values to multiple cells in a spill range. I do have a separate video on this. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Here, we're also using the sort by function to sort our employee list uh, by the total time. And we're using a sum if function here to calculate that. And then we have a few other metrics on this page that reference those spill ranges and return those values that are used in the dashboard. So next we'll look at the conditionally formatted icons on our shapes sheet. And first we inserted an icon and this is another Excel hash ingredient. So I found both the storm cloud and the fireworks icons here and inserted those on the sheet. I then put those, uh, changed the fill color to a light gray color, put those over a white rectangle and grouped them. Then we're going to copy and paste a picture and we'll put that picture here. And what we can do next is go to picture format, color, set transparent color, 
and we'll select this gray color and that will actually cut out or make that transparent, make the icon transparent. And then I placed the icons over these cells up here that have conditional formatting applied to those. So these two cells have conditional formatting. We can see that right here. There's the conditional formatting, which is based on the uh, values on the calc sheet. And then what we're going to do is I'll hit Control C to copy those and we'll go over to the dashboard and right click, paste special, paste linked picture, which is our last Excel hash ingredient. And that will paste this linked picture here. You can see in the formula bar that it's linked to the shapes sheet. And now when we make a selection from our department's dropdown, that's going to uh, change the calculations on the calc sheet, change our conditional formatting, and that will be displayed here on the dashboard. So we're using quite a few new tools here for Excel and Office 365, but hopefully the boss enjoys this one. How did you do this so fast? Is this PowerPoint? No, actually it's Excel. So I encourage you to check out the other videos from the other creators. Again, I'll put a link to that playlist in the description below this video and also vote for your favorites. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.